drive rideshare vehicles say the passage of Prop 22 almost four years ago has left them to fend for themselves. A constitutional challenge to the prop was before the California Supreme Court today at issue whether the decision not to provide workers comp to so-called gig workers should be up to the voters. Cronfors Dan Kerman reports. I'm really asking all the judges on the Supreme Court to stay behind of the drivers and say this proposition is unconstitutional. Those who drive app-based rideshare or delivery vehicles rallied outside the state Supreme Court in San Francisco Tuesday in hopes the justices would overturn Proposition 22. Make no mistake, Prop 22 is unconstitutional. Prop 22 illegal strips the legislator of his power to enact workers' compensation. That means gig workers like you and me and all gig workers, you know, basically have no recourse if I get on the job, hurt on the job. If I get hurt, it's on me. Passed by voters in November of 2020, Prop 22 classified app-based drivers as independent contractors. While billed as an opportunity to give drivers flexibility, opponents say it did more harm than good. You as a person in California or any other state, if you work in that state, you get unemployment insurance, you get workers' comp, you get sick leave, maybe you get sick leave, maybe you get uh, some vacation. As a gig worker under Prop 22, you get none of those rights. Proposition 22 impermissibly conflicts with Article 14 of the Constitution by preventing the legislature from providing complete workers' compensation protections to about one million app-based drivers. Prop 22 opponents watched the oral arguments before the California Supreme Court on a big screen in Civic Center Plaza. While this group opposes the measure, not all drivers do. The uh, flexibility that Prop 22 allows me is what I'm looking for here. I do have other jobs that I do, and I need to fill in my time with supplemental part-time gig work. And so I support Prop 22 for that. Lower courts have split as to whether the proposition is constitutional. That's why the issue has ended up before the state Supreme Court nearly four years after voters passed the measure. The state Supreme Court has 90 days to issue a ruling in this Prop 22 matter. At the California Supreme Court in San Francisco, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.